Hello and welcome to the map Markwood. This is a casual map, but this time is the thing. This is the first. No, actually not. First FF8 I'm casting on Markwood. I guess it's one on world. So, this FFA is being played between the top left as an player D4K. The yellow is also yellow. Need to present also the colors. He's playing against the purple round player Ari. And he's playing against the white model player Rangel. And he's playing against <laughs> the green model gunner player Matezzi. I don't know who this guy is. So he's sending both the soldiers down. Gondor now is pushing. Going for this creep. Usually in this map you go instantly for the creep. Like Ari is doing and also the the Eisinger player. But you just want to focus the layer first. Le fucking leave the units alone. Because your watch will be gone until you will, you will be able to kill the layer. Learn it the hard way. This layer will be finally killed. Now they can even push more. Golem is moving forward. This creep will be secured by the by the model player and this is really good for model already meal meal and another meal he can go for the second orbit which will be really good meanwhile gondor is creeping he's able to actually creep pretty good the peasants will move towards the right creep doesn't want they don't want to let ranger creep and one more one more layer the uruks will be able to get the layer in the middle and full fourness is in the base i think this guy is going for loot and that's the that's exactly what is happening. You should try to go get this creep, get this creep if you can. Just as we get as many creeps as you can. We don't see the second pit here. Kinda sad. The second pit is really good. Now the soldiers are were able to kill the lair, but they can they save the Hobbit? Okay, Hobbit, nice movement. Hobbit is level two. Some soldier, one soldier is level two, other one is level one. Pretty good. They just able to scout that. The Uruks will go here. And Lourdes will go to this lair. That's kind of interesting. Rohan is just going for farms, farms, farms. After he went for F Theodin. These places are a lot. Finally, a tower is being made inside the Mordor's base. I mean, he could tr try and rotate and maybe even attack from this side. If you would know. Boom. Almost level 2. Lourdes now change on sword. Kill this lair. Get... Need to kill it as, as fast as you can. There are some soldiers that are trying to creep the works. Uruks are here to finish the layer off. Can they get it? Watchen was also used. Go, uh, Mordor was able to get the second power point. That means land. Isengard will be able to get... Actually, I thought he would get the one power point. But that's not the case. Lourdes is trying to kill again. It's going up for the works. Farming has been recruited and now it's going inside the base. Don't have any anything more coming. Armor is coming up. I mean, by nothing more, I mean, uh, heroes. When best of 20, 21 against Jojo, nah. People will be used. And now Lourdes is level almost 3. He will draw the sword and now try to fight. Leave this settlement. We need to kill this as fast as possible because now. Rohan might even rotate to you. Exactly. Rohan is rotating. And you might... If you would hit from the start, he would be able to get the lair. Let's see. If he's losing the lair, then it's his fault. Let's see. This will be hard to steal. This will be hard to steal. Exactly. It will be hard to steal. I need to run. There is no carnage to be used. If you would not go for the farm, and he would not be greedy, he could just... Take the lair. Almost level 3 though. That's good. Leave these ones. Kill the close ones. You think he isn't worth your time? Be humble. Yes. I think he is not worth my time. <laughs> but of 21 against Jojo. I mean it might last when you played in the tournament. I need it like. It, it took some time. Like 40 minutes to win two games. I think I don't remember how much it took. But let's check on Rangel now. It's getting to trolls. Let's check. Gondor is going for combos. 
after all the heroes. I'm I, after the brother. Sorry, enough is missing. Let's check. This guy is going for hit him and also the archers. Let's check Isengard. Only lords. So are moving. Oh, we have a lures action here. Level 4 lures. Throwing the carnage. Trying to go for Farah. Farah is scared. Farah is running. Also, the lures needs to run because if there will be some knights, this lures will be dead. But nice catch by lures. Okay, now start moving. I mean, right now, anything you need to agree with me. Nothing is happened. So, let me not waste your time. I just. Anything happen here? No. This guy is still level 4. This creep is still on the field. Mordor is just taking over the map, actually. With the only one pit. Because this Gondor player is not doing anything. Uh, it's driving Boromir, at least. Sarko was also made. Combos are now being made. Salmon is still not there. Ari is just chilling in the base. Has level 3 combo, which is really good. Now, we will be able to get the arch range to level 2. So, I think the main... Playmaker will be this Mordor player. I think he will be. Okay, plenty has been used. They are still like this. Okay, maybe you let Lures to kill Hobbit so he gets closer to level 5. No, okay. Let's just put it. Okay, we see the army is being ready. Army preparing here also. Hobbit, any heroes? We have a Theodin there. And also a Omer. For the Rohirrim archers. Both of them are level 3. Which is really, really good. Eomer level 4 will be needed. Gondor is now finally making a, a move. He's going outside his base. This is a really good defense point. For the Rohan player. He's also able to cloak a Hobbit. Which is again really good. Two drama trolls. Let's just check his money. He still doesn't have the industry. Needs to make some more trolls to send over. He's also saving for the Wish King now, I think. Isengard is also outside his base. Trolls are moving. I mean... Okay, we see Isengard making a move finally. We see some action. Lure is level 5 meanwhile, while we were looking at nothing. Ball points for everybody is low, but Elmer will be crippled down by the Isengard player. Now they are going. Boom, boom. Watch has been used. And you can just let Shark take the hit or the Pikeman, who cares? You can combine with the Crossman. man. This trolls are kind of trapped. Isengard also needs Saruman. This is this levy for Saruman. You guys still going for wishing far away from Saruman. And he's going for the towers. And he will finally be able to get the second power point for the industry. One more tower. We'll go down. Rohan meanwhile is trying to take back the control. Trying to get some farms. Trying to get some economy. Gondor kind of, kind, is kind of doing the same. The pit. will go down. Mordor. Is getting back. Just running. Back with the trolls. He will have four trolls and two drama trolls. There, there is no Sarma, so that's good for him. Now, Wish King will be made. Planet will be used to just go back. Actually, he's going in again. The planet is really nice because you can troll the units a bit more easy, easier. You can make a store house or farm or uh, store house or um, furnace there to just bug the units up. Condor is also moving, so you might see a fight here. Condor is moving, he's able to spot them. Bormi is level 3, and this guy is level 4, so both heroes are kind of close for the leadership. Why do 3v3 game was 18? I don't know how to send your replay, didn't save. It's Fiesta game. Okay, we look to it. After to it. Uh, on your account or on Cylon? Okay, now Gondor kind of wants to go, but kind of doesn't want to go. But it's actually going with Viking is also here. I mean, you should... You should destroy this army. I don't know how to say that. But you should dominate. Bormir is being sent back. But he's getting crippled by Lourdes. Now Lourdes will get... Again, he'll get the experience. The combo here. These combos are just dead. Screech was also used. And Faramir is also dead. He should be. Actually, no. He got on horse. He's getting dismounted. And now he's going back to the base. Hmm. 
same team. Okay, silent series service. Nice. Combos. I will to ground back. Well is here. I mean he's gonna play this, not the best. Uh, Rohan is just making some defense. Teodin died. Just like that. The combos actually will not even reach the home base. So Gondor is poor. Sarman has been recruited. And if people is not ready. The farthest enemy and not being yeah, Isengard is pushing, but nobody's pushing Isengard, that's kinda sad, but the army will fight. Yeah, let's just keep a bit forward. Good thing I skipped. No, I, Rohan doesn't have the upgrades in the first place to go for that. Isengard trying to move, but there are only two combos. Two combos are not enough against four, five trolls. It's two drama trolls and maybe even the Wish King, if you're counting. Don't tell me Wish King died. Wish King died! Fuck, I should not have skipped that. Wish King died probably from the Isengard army. Holy shit. Wish King died. Maybe overextended or something. Overextending. Extending. Hitodin has been revived. Now Isengard is going. And also Mordor is going. So, Mordor fighting Gondor and Isen fighting Mordor. This will be an interesting fight. Also, catapults kind of need it for uh, Mordor because you need to deal with the combo. So, catapults are really the best way to deal against that. But Mordor doesn't give up. She's going for the Citadel. He's killing more. He's paying attention here. Now he's moving back. Actually, here you actually you need to go back to the base because look what's happening. Rohan trying to get some meals. I mean, the main mistake that Ari is doing, he's keeping all the Rohirrims together. So, it's really no point in doing that. Okay, this guy is bugged. Kind of unfortunate. Yeah, Ranger can kind of getting out of a lot of uh, hits here. Kind of, kind of getting... Uh, targeted. Now they're going. Dramatro leader is there, and now the trolls are going in. Still is coming in clutch. We'll steal Drama Troll and the two trolls, but they are still shooting. Dan is not available, so they don't have any leadership, and now the trolls are dead. There are two Drama Trolls in the back, but I don't think Ranger can survive this anymore. And the base will just go down. Dramatro is also boosting the combos damage, I think. The Montos will go down, and the base of the model player will just go down. Isengard now has the 7 power points for freezing rain. Ron is not doing anything, so it's basically his FK. Gondor has a wall open, and he's poor, so he, Isengard can do whatever he wants with that. Now the base will go down from Rangel. Wow, player down. Three more to go. Let's keep. Yeah, fighting here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Saruman is going. Saruman is going for the attack. Combos are also there. Rohan doesn't have anything to siege. You need a ballista. Maybe two ballistas. You lose them and make some uh, explosive mines for the world here. Fireball. Nice fireball. Saruman is level 5. They're focusing. Uh, Sharko getting damaged and killed by Faramir after all. Nice blast by Saruman earlier. The combos are dying. Yeah, I guess Isengard is going to win. That's why he... I mean, DK, the Isengard player summited the, the replay, so... So that's why... Uh, he said, I guess, because he's winning this. Fireball was used. Okay, let's see. He's actually attacking us, these workers. Finally, he's going for some siege. He's letting Gondor survive. And look at the Rohan power points. Look, Isengard power points. And now... Look at Gondor power points. Nice fireball, but <laughs> close to get Saruman killed there. The they are still fighting. Level, they are leveling up. Lourdes, level 7. Peasants with Forge Blades. That's kind of interesting, but they will just die, I guess. To the Pagman, will they die, actually? Yeah, they are dying. Combos are moving. Oh, and... That surprisingly... Gondor is making a move. Stat the tower has been taken down. Other tower has been taken down. Why would you cripple Boromir when you have a bigger problem on the right side? I mean, just to kill it, I guess. Now, 
I think that is going. I mean, he can fight on two sides. That's no problem. His leadership is good. Bormin has been taken down. Rain is also available if he really needs to. A ram has been made. A second ram will be made. I think it's better to make the ballistas. Just so we get faster uh, explosive mine. And they are going. Freeze rain. Never use freezing rain and merchant before you cripple a hero and you actually fight. You just scared Rohan off and you will not achieve anything. As you can see. Oh shit. I skipped too far. They are fighting now. Glitch I will be used. Fuck sorry guys. I'm so sad about that. Leap was not used. And somehow this Rohan is just winning this. Was able to kill both the hero. Actually was able to kill Lurz. There was no Saruman there. I mean just insane hits here. Happening. He also used land. I think I just land to cover. He got the leadership back, I think, and that's why he's fighting. I said I wish I could have watched it. Yeah, same. Okay, they're just gonna run into the Pagman. Gimli is going level three, and actually I think I is not winning this. So many them. Maybe we can try to go for a fireball. This looks kind of juicy. Messed up a bit. The buttons are kind of find a way. Oh, what was this sleep? I'm gonna risk moving. Yes, I'll be that he's being crippled. What is Saruman doing, man? Just fight them. Fight him. What can he do? Wow. So worth it. Rohan has the end summon. Then power points for Balrog. And now we can just. Okay, looks like I think that is going for the Gondor player. Rohan is camping outside the base and getting some help control back. Gondor needs to move once again into his base and now the world is going down. Lures will go and will cripple Bormir. Bormir is not the, the guy that you need to cripple, I think. And then he's being used and now they are going. Saruman using fireball once again. Nice fireball. But you never use fireball on a hero because you are pushing the hero back. So you're pushing him to safety. Still is being used, not the best, not the worst still, it's alright. Sarmana needs to run, when he is being used on Sarman, everything but he's focusing Sarman. And also focusing Faramir. Meanwhile, Ro Rohan is pushing from the top side, not letting Azingar do anything. No combos will just be sent back and they will just die along the way. And someone has been picked. Gandalf is going though, boom! Beautiful, beautiful! Beautiful blast, also with the land combo. Very good. That's why I don't use Creeper on Boromir. By the way. Meanwhile, the Rams are uh, dealing damage. This one is not doing anything. And Rohan is pushing. But this sword is gonna be missed. Why would you use like this on, the, on freaking Rams? And, uh, Rohan is moving. Incessing our plan is protection everywhere. Lourdes is in front. Saruman is also in front. Combos are being sent, but there are no units in them. Taking some explosive mines, but you need to also place them for them to be useful. Shark is taking away his level 7, though. He has good, I mean, to try to fight what is being used. And summon to deal damage. I don't know where they're going. Glorisha is being used. Now you can just rush them down. Why were the ants sent back? Now with the ants, what you can actually do, you go the rocks and you should destroy the citadel. So then you need to kill everything else. Ballistas are dealing damage. You can just send Rohirrims. What? What happens if you lose that? Oh, fireball! Nice fireball, but he will be killed now. Bam, 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 bam! Uh, dead. And now Elmer is also level four. So that means more leadership for the units. Leap attack! We'll kill everything. Land kind of bit, a bit late. Gimli will be finally crippled and now Lord is doing a Michael Jackson move. Hit, 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 and hit. Gimli is dead. Lord needs to move back. He's level 9. He's getting chased by every single unit on the map. And then, 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 he will just die. Pagman's getting upgrades, but they're just getting destroyed by the ends. Balrog is available. Ari, still not there for. Um, AOD. So what you can do here, you can use Balrog here and you can destroy the whole base. 
this is on level two, 3, this is level 3, so you just need to pay a bit more attention to kill this truck. We are ready to ride out. But it should be a very easy Balrog. Not very easy, but it should be a doable Balrog, I can say. And that's, that, that's happening. No! Why here? He has a well open, yes, but the main problem is Rohan. With this army. Aragorn will be taken down. My work is angry, but he seems like he's strong. Uh, well, it's alright. Nice fire bread. I'm gonna kill these buildings. Now you want, maybe you can use a leap. Kill these, these three build, these two buildings. Not leap on the combo though. Kill those, these two buildings and fire bread like here, but gonna be just too bad. I'm not gonna do much about it. If you just keep, everybody is just making army. Okay, Isengard is moving. Balrog is fired. Now they are going in. Gandalf is inside the base, level 7. 5 ball points ready in total. Merchant has been used. They are going now for the saddle. Freezing rain is not available yet. Bormir is fighting. Yeah, the rock also not, not good. Fire was used. This guy, it's dead. Bormir got the levels from the shitting experience. And they are just dealing damage. Lurz also in front. Combos are dealing damage. Gandalf is in the back. Cloudbreak is being used. This Cloudbreak is from the Gondor player, I guess. Gondor is making a comeback into the game. Cripple will be used on Gandalf. But he's kind of losing the units. Now, my world is hungry. He's gonna come. Look the damage. Bam. 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 Some Gandalf is dead. They are dealing more damage. Bam. Bam. And the base of the Gondor player. What? What? Kill Boro and Farah. Okay, the buildings. Okay. I guess you just want to. <laughs> he just lost Lourdes for no reason. But now he also needs to defend on this side. He's sending in front explosive mines, killing his own buildings. That's not good. And Gondor player has been taken down. Now send reinforcements back. Send them now, another... Ooh, that's so bad! They're helping the enemy! And some of the builds also, also used from Ari. Ari just got carried in this game. He's 1.0 away from AOD also. Exactly 1.0 away from AOD. Ding damage. Bam, bam, bam. That, that's why you needed to kill Rohan first. Because Rohan actually did, did something good in this game. Which is being used to kill those units, but there are only two more... Structures, one more structure, and Ari will take the win. Also with the AOD to flex on the enemy. Did you sell play? The FFA will be won by Ari.